So, hey guys, Chelsea here, level 5 Dawn Krieg again. I'm going to continue on with the strat I used in my latest video. If you want a recap of how this strategy works, check the link down below in the description. But yeah, I made two new teams. This first one uh, aims to replace the x Drake support that many don't have. And it also lets you skip Jinbei, which I guess is pretty cool. One note about this first team is that it uses no damage reduction sockets. As for the other sockets, it has level 2 poison, which is required, and level 5 recovery. If you want to see how those sockets look, check my last video or the team after this, because yeah, I remember to show it for the second team, but not the first. It is what it is. As always, for up until stage 3, try and heal as much as possible. Then on stage 3 you reset, unless Rogue becomes the captain, reset guarantees that Rogue becomes captain. As for the units on this team, uh, the main one to talk about is the Sanji, this is Stampede Sanji. I don't think you can buy him right now. I think he was available for a bit during the, the film reruns, like a year ago or so. But yeah, not impossible to get now, so sorry about that, at least from my understanding. So yeah, this is the uh, no damage reduction strat, we take exactly enough damage, so rogue procs. This doesn't work for the other teams with this strat, because with Jinbei, he has inherent side damage reduction socket so that's a no-go reduces the damage too much so that's why the strats vary a bit uh, this stage is going to be basically the same as in my last video swap marco whitebeard i saved them for last so we can consume their recovery orb while hitting hard uta to guarantee full world of matching orb with the super and yeah just copy how I target. Maybe you can make some minor change depending on your investment, but both these teams will require quite high investments on your units. Especially the Radio and Shiryu, I'd say. Uh, Marco Whitebeard uh, is not needed to be level limit break 5 with this team. You can actually put Kiko Iso support on them, so that's one cool thing with this team. And yeah, this Sanji does do an attack boost, so we can use it for final stage. And Shiryu has support to remove the bind the spear. So it means we can save Sanji support for something else. So we use the Ladianami support to set the defense to zero. So yeah, this is actually a viable team that might help some people. So I'm pretty happy with this variant of the No We Won Sanji team. See, we already have a big ore boost and call affinity from Uta, so Sun just adds a little bit of attack boost, but little <laughs> is better than nothing. Uh, if you want some replacement for this Sanji, you could try. We want Sanji without the 6 plus, because then he does an attack boost only for himself, but that's probably enough to be honest. Just make sure that Sunny is the one that hits Krieg in that case. And of course, the Sunny needs to be pretty good in West in that case. You rogue to remove the remaining paralysis and give a chain lock. And yeah, just copy my tap timing here. Make sure your hardest hitting unit hits Krieg though. In my case, I think I set up for Marco, Whitebeard, or maybe Uta. Like, it depends on how high in West Uta frame captain you have on your team. But yeah, uh, I actually have another team coming up, so stay tuned in this video. Yeah, I, I went with Uta. Like, it's fine, it's fine. And easy survival with the damage reduction from Marco, Whitebeard. 
And yeah, moving on to the second team. And this is basically a meme team. I'm using this old ass rare recruit Sanji. These are the socks, by the way. This team needs level 3 damage reduction. Last team required no damage reduction. I've been changing my sockets like crazy last few days for this Grand Voyage. Uh, you might wonder what this Sunny does. And he does basically nothing. He does damage to all enemies. That's everything he's special does. But at level 150 he has decent stats. It doesn't feel like it. Like, I've done a lot of runs for this Grand Voyage. And despite this Sanji, like, 2500 attack. Not the worst, but it doesn't feel like 2500 attack, so yeah, not sure about that. Uh, this strat is a bit different. Uh, this team, we're actually, requiring on, uh, we're actually relying on this Sanji to kill Krieg final stage. This Sanji has we won Sengoku support, so that's a 2.5 times attack boost for this Sanji. Uh, but then we have to still handle the Bind the Spear, so I have some support on Marco, Whitebeard and Jimbei to handle that. But yeah, this team is basically a team that lets you use literally any Sanji uh, that is powerhouse, so that's very cool. It's always fun when you can make teams like that, where the, the one unit on the team can be whatever. We don't have many Grand Voyages like that. I made one team like that for Grand Voyage Kuro. A while back, but I haven't done any since, so very happy with that. And yeah, uh, this strat lets us take the damage beneath Rogue. Uh, we do take more damage than the last team I used though. So recovery orbs can be an issue here. You basically need some RNG to get an extra recovery orb or you're definitely not healing enough with this team. And yeah, if you want to optimize it again, this Sanji could be we won Sanji, and you just use some stat boost and support or something. Uh, one thing I haven't say, said, which is pretty important, is that this team requires a uh, level limit break Jinbei. My teams usually don't do that, because usually the only fighter captain we've had is we won Sanji. But I realized when I used this team in my first playthrough that for final stage we actually have Solo Marco as captain for a bit. Who is a fighter, so we can use Jinbei to his full potential. So with level limit break, Jinbei actually removes the attack down, which is why the Sanji can do basically nothing and still be used. So yeah, this is mostly a meme team to beat a Grand Voyage with a... 10 year old rare recruit, not sure how old this Sanji is, he's very old at least. So yeah, I think with this it's enough Krieg bullying for a bit. I'll be back sometime in the summer I think, unless we get some new unit release or something. Uh, one thing I want to use is a team with like Barter support to survive instead of Marco Whitebeard. So we'll see what I come up for with that. And yeah, we have this White the base support on Marco Whitebeard to remove the final turn of Bind. And for this, these teams you do need le maxed out Grand Tesoro ship, level 12 plus 2. And yeah, again, if you wonder how this strat, how this strat works for this team, check link in description. I go more in depth in my first video of this strat. So yeah, I said, I set up so Sanji takes out Krieg here. He has a, a lot of stats without with that 2.5 times attack boost applied. So yeah, I've had a ton of fun making new teams for Kree Fire, but yeah, this is where the bullying stops for now. I feel completely satisfied with these teams. So yeah, enjoy this big kill from Sanji, and that's the end of the video. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.